Yo, what's up everybody? So today we're doing Publisher. Uh, it's the new CTF on Triacme and I was actually the first one to get the user point on this one and that's an achievement so I'll walk you through it so let's just begin. We'll read through the description of the challenge first. So Publisher CTF Machine is a simulated environment hosting some serv services and through a series of animation techniques, uh, vulnerability is discovered allowing for remote code execution and Later on, we'll try to escalate our privileges using uh, app armor, I guess. Uh, yep, that's app armor and using execution of an unconfined bash shell and achieve the privilege escalation. So let's begin with the box. I'll first connect to the Triagme VPN. And I like to use Threader 3000 for CTF stuff. It's fast and just like a uh, rust scan. Hold up, it didn't even detect SSH. It doesn't do that a lot of times, so there we go. So we see SSH and a web server on port 80. If we go to the website, this is the website we got, and we see a lot of spip, spip, spip here. So, and as the hint from the box here, we see there is a remote code execution. So, spip is actually a CMS, right? There we go. Spip is a free software content management system. So, that's that's probably it. That we need to look on so we can just use search exploit for search for spip and there we go we actually got a remote code execution exploit so that's how i first animated on the box pretty quick so you can even google and if i just try to use weaponizer we got the spip version here it's spip 4.2.0 it's the exact version we got here so we can just google spip 4.2.0 RCE exploit and even add github there so we got uh, these it's the same one we got here and we can just run nmap here if we got this one it's it will give you this uh, serialized payload that you can use on this endpoint here if you see if you can see slash pip.php and if I just try to run ferox buster on this copy the IP and we can even find spip using this. We got the end map back, so it's just Apache and we got spip and that's it. We can close that now and I'll just clone this repo to just showcase you. And I did I didn't actually get the reversal using this, but we got reversal using if I just search for CVE and we got this github so i actually found this github that will actually give you a fully interactive shell for the cve and we don't have to go through those steps or try to get the remote code execution so there we go we got slash pip directory right so if we go to slash pip and spip.php we can actually land on this page so oh god okay so this is where we can use this exploit we copied here so if i go and copy this and if i go on this and we can use it so i can clone the repo we don't need to run it now and we have cloned it so i'll first install the requirements pip install hyphen r requirements txt i already got them now i can run the script directly by and we can do hyphen h for help and url this is the url we need to use here and we can specify come on like let's do ls hyphen la or let's run who am i right we can be for verbose so it found the ntcsrf token and we got the payload too right but we first need to intercept it in burp and i'll first disable it so if you see the screenshot here, it's actually requesting page is equal to spip pass and I think it's the reset page or some sort of page. There we go. We go to the same URL and we got here and if I just translate it, it will say to change your password, right? Please provide the email. So this is the page we, uh, we can get the remote code execution on. So if I just re enter test.gmail.com and I turn on Foxy proxy and I got a burp. I turn the intercept on. 
and I click OK. So the request is intercepted. We can send to repeater by pressing Control R and go back to the repo. This is actually the payload we got here. This this parameter. So if we paste it here, and I actually left a space here. So I press Control Enter to send it, and if we go below. There is our payload, who am I? And there we go. We are WWW data user. We got remote code execution on the machine. So we can actually run several commands like ls la. I'll copy the payload. I'll paste it here. I'll press Control Enter. And there we go. We got the file listing. Right? But I quite didn't get the reversal using this one. So I'll go with this one, right? So I'll copy the link to the repo. I'll go back and Bruh. I'll, what? I'll clone this. And if we, I move to this POC script, right? What so, are you doing, so first, I can bro? never write clear right. So requirements.txt, we already got this. So we can run Python 3 exploit.py hyphen h. So we just need to specify the URL here. So we can go back and copy the URL. We don't need this, I guess. So we can just do this. And there we go. We got our shell. But it's not fully interactive. Like like if I go to CD home and I slash PWD. We are still in that directory. We are not in CD home, right? So you can actually enumerate here. And if if we do this, uh, there we, there is a user flag. And if I do it again, there is a dot SSH directory, right? So we can try to get what's in that directory. And there is. Uh, there's an IDRSA, so we can directly SSH into Think User using that private SSH key. There we go. We're gonna copy it. I'll just make it smaller for some time. There we go. And we can, uh oh. So we can go and uh, I'll use them. Let me go back to the back directory VI Think RSA. Call, uh, save it and oh leave. bro I can never write this right there we go okay so we can give this the permissions it need think RSA and now we can directly SSH into think user there we go yes and the first time I didn't just directly enumerate it using this shell. I got a reverse shell on netcat, but I couldn't use netcat or anything. Like if you just search for which bash. Did the shell just broke? There we go. <laughs> so it was just breaking in between. So I actually used this open SSL reverse shell because it was on the machine, and I am the uh, I'm the contributor of it on uh, repshells.com, so that's also an achievement. I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, we got it, we got it, baby, and we got it. So it was my Wi-Fi acting up for quite a bit. So sorry for that. And if I search for which bash, there we go. We got used up in bash, and if I actually try to get a shell using bash. Go back to rough shell and this. I'll add the full path here. Bin bash that C user bin bash. Copy this. Uh oh. Copy this. Paste it here. There we go. We didn't get that shell back. So I tried other ways, but we couldn't get it. So I I tried searching for open SSL, right? So that's the way I used it, and that's the way I found rev shells don't have an open SSL rev shell. So I added it here, and you can just press this or 
for listener we can change it to open SSL press this command and enter it here enter 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 we got it and if I just copy this one copy and there we go we got our shell and it's much better we can try searching for which Python 3 it doesn't have a Python 3 we can actually stabilize it using script tag uh, so we can stabilize it using script uh, bin bash dev no let me make it bigger there we go and fix I showed what's my fix prefix as uh, the alias for fix last time it's just basic stabilization tricks so now we can go back to think and go to SSH and grab the RSC file right so that's that and I'm gonna close this close this so we're gonna work here now we got the user text user flag here now the enumeration for prevesc right we go back to the challenge and we see attempts to escalate privileges using custom binary are hindered by restricted access to uh, critical system files and directories so it's probably app armor if, if I try to just make a file here right touch hoodie.txt you see permission denied if I go back to tamp and try to make a file here we see permission denied so if I go back to app armor or let's try to run so I uh, my another choice is usually dev SSM if I can't write in temp so uh, and fortunately we got the right permissions here so we can actually make a file here so I just try to get lint piece here and let's run lint piece there we go chmod plus x lint piece t lint dot log to save the lint piece output side by side and it will actually find app armor and you can just google app armor hack tricks there you go you can read about it here what is app armor what does it do it's a kernel enhancement designed to restrict the resources available to programs through per program profiles and if you go below there is actually bypass tricks to bypass the app armor profile right if I go to the Hectrix page and I go above, you see uh, here. So, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, there we go. This is the part to. So, there we go. This is the part to App Armor Profile. So, there we go. This is the part like pin, service pin. So take example if echo is restricted using app armor the path would be etc app armor dot d slash user dot bin dot bash uh, your sorry echo for the echo and there we go we got docker bypass and there's a shebang bypass so it's using Perl so you see it's preventing Perl to run with certain resources and if you just create a shell script using uh, script tag using the cbang line and you can execute the file directly so we can so but in temp directory we don't have the right permissions but in dev SHM, we do have so let's go through the lint piece log here and there we go we got suid and sgid this is unusable run container unknown suid binary there we go and where is the app armor profile is it below we got the opt run container dot sh so that's that's there lint piece can actually give you a lot of information about the system right did it not catch the app armor lint log grab app armor oh app armor module is loaded found at app armor severity dot db so we got app armor here and we can just directly move to app armor dot D and see what profiles we get so these are the profiles we have and to me this is the ash this is a shell right and if I check ENV and we see 
we are using this shell right and if I check for cat Etsy shells we don't actually have this shell and the reason for that is because uh, sorry if I check its profile, if I check its uh, spin.ash, there we go. So this is a reason we are not able to write in home, we're not able to write in temp, and here it's because it's actually complaining about it. It's not enforcing these rules, right? Deny read permission in opt. So if I try to ls hyphen l opt, you see permission denied. If I try to ls hyphen temp, we can actually ls into it but we can write into it so it's actually complaining but not enforcing for that reason we are able to actually write in dev as a gem and you see here we can run and execute uh, anything under this path so we can run any binary so i'm going to move to dev as a gem and i'm going to use this pearl x pearl bypass for app armor to get out of you know uh there we go to get out of app armor there are a couple of ways you can do this so i'm going to do it this way i'm going to make it executable we can check we got pearl on here so now i can just directly run test.pl and now if i check which shell we got we got bat uh we got ash but we are out of you know uh app armor profile so if i try to make a file now here i can .txt. there we go we bypass app armor using this so we can run bash i for interactive and there you go so remember the suid we found we can uh, try to find it again and get a root shell using that this is the find command we can use to find suids on a system and there we go we got run container so if I just try to run this, it asks for, uh, it shows us the list of Docker containers. And if I copy this ID and we can enter it here, there we go. And you see this line slash opt slash run container dot sh valid container ID command are found. There we go. So I can hit just quit and try to go cat or uh, let's just ls into opt. There is a script, and if I go to there and Docker file, this is the Docker file they're uh, they're using to run the spip, and there we go. We can cat, and so this is the script it's using to run that SUID binary, and we got all permissions on it. So we can just let's just try to run this user bin bash or maybe let's just try to make bash an suid here so let's do this and if i run this command again enter anything start a container or anything bin bash there we go we got bash hyphen p we can do that and we are root let's go so that was the room guys that's how we bypass app armor using pearl and we can find it on hectrix and we then made use of read write permissions on the script that suid binary was using and we modified it to make bash shell uh, suid and run this in privileged mode and we got root it was pretty uh cool room to do and i enjoyed it and we got it we got the user point and we got third on the leaderboard so that's cool and i hope you like the video and i hope you learned something new you can ping me on discord for any queries and i'll see you till next time